Right, joined by Scam, just finished uh, set headline in the blue room, I think it was. Welcome to Crazy Cowboy Festival 4 guys. Woo! Well, Thanks for having us. Oh, he's got his uni coming in hand. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. Now, all day, I mean 15 bands, last band's just started now. Um, from midday onwards, it's been absolutely rammed. The atmosphere's been fantastic here. What's it like for you guys? Because it was hot on stage, but what was the crowd like? It was very hot, but the crowd was great. It's always, uh, it's always mega when you know, you know, ticket sales have gone well. Crazy Cowboy always does well on the pre-sale, doesn't he? So, we know there's going to be plenty of people here. It's just nice to look out and see from the front to the back of the room. Hands are waving, sweaty, and yeah, people drinking beer and rocking. It's just a big room of rock fans, yeah. which is so cool. Like, I, and I know that sounds unusual, yeah, but it's but true. It's true. Yeah, like, yeah. Everybody's, whether they came to see us or not, everyone's just into it. The, the amount of different band t shirts that you yeah. see in the crowd, and everybody's, yeah, everybody else is yeah. set, you know, set, and it's just. The atmosphere has been phenomenal. Yeah. And I think a lot of bands that people maybe haven't seen before today are now right up there with the rest of the bands they came to see. I'm going to put this out there. <laughs> this is our second Crazy Cowboy. I thought this one pinched it. I thought the crowd was mega. Last time we were here it was wicked as well. Like it was great. Like I, I, think, I think it's grown. Yeah. Each one's grown. Absolutely. And, and I think Alex is so good at putting a variety of music on that just works and melts together to create a really, really good day of life rock music, like yeah. you say. You know, there's different styles, different genres, different vibes, but together, it creates a fantastic day. And like you say, you see the t-shirts, you see the people, it's been there all day sweaty, and, and they're just rocking out with whoever said, they're here for the music. And you guys get to sort of see real fans, and they get to see real bands. It's great. I'm going to have to, Throw something at Crazy Cowboy in a sec, because he's a noisy fucker. He's been very loud. He's a man in his element, isn't he? Sure. Like, look, he's socialising. Wally! Wally! Shut up! Shut up! Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to do a fucking again. interview! <laughs> <laughs> We're going to say, you, you could think this is your festival, wouldn't you? <laughs> you can go in there. Come on, come and get in here. We were talking about someone who's played tonight headbutting a football player in a professional match as a linesman. He knows who it is. Come and drink some of my unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking had something. It's horrible, man. Let me try some. Spice Robbie's better. Sorry, let's get this back on track. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to try some unicorn. Yeah, me too. We have some interesting um, concoctions brought in by Steph today for you guys to try if you want to try it. I just said before we started that these look like those drinks that make you go blind in an off-license. They look, they look like fake drinks. They, uh, you know when you see it on the oh news, people go blind. blind. That's <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there is a... <laughs> it can't be that bad. Holy <laughs> shit, it can't be that bad. Very, very nice. That is fucking bad. <laughs> I'm not even going to smell it, I'm ruining it. That is bad. That, you're going to die. <laughs> It's the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? What is it supposed to be? <laughs> what is it supposed that to be? That is awful. <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> Would be my question with that. Have why? you seen the van out there where there's a unicorn you can just it's see? It's a bit like through. a liquor. It it's a liquor that's been made from pine cones. <laughs> that's a disgrace. That, that, one, that one there is supposed to be like um, earwax. That one. That one. Try that I'm not sure I know what it works. Yeah, like. yeah, I, I think you just got to find out. Go and stuck the finger in the rear and then licked it. Someone needs to burn that. That's a disgrace. Now this is this is why you can't mix it because it's quite combustible. I think if you mix it together. Oh, that's not great, but it's nowhere near as bad as the unicorn. I feel like well, the semen shot said it's 80 percent vodka. But well, this is gone. It. Yeah, it's empty. That actually has a pine cone on it. <laughs> <laughs> Semen shot, that's just, that's been rinsed because of the name. Everyone's like, yeah, I want a shot of semen. I want you to look at the face. <laughs> I know what you're saying, if we drank this first, we'd say this was bad. Yeah, because I've had that, it's now tasty. That, yeah. that yeah. unicorn's from Red. Well, apparently it's this it. one here, the Czech Republic's one. This one? Yeah, it's a bit like um, drinking fishermen's friends. Ginish, let's try this. It's only 16 years, that one's not bad. It just tastes like that. Just makes me want to die. <laughs> Foul. <laughs> What's that one? Because that one's pretty much. This one's alright. Send it over. It looks like it. <laughs> it's just strong. That's it's like it's Fisherman's so Friend. Absolutely fucked right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Fisherman's Friend alcohol. 
Oh yeah, that's all right, isn't it? It's good. <coughs> it's just an alcoholic tasting session with uh, Scan. The <coughs> brother. Apparently, apparently they managed to drive in the drink. That's horrendous. Good as well, very nice. Okay, that's the end of that. Have you got a message for us? <laughs> well done, guys. As always. No. Sorry about the intro, mate. You did a wicked job. For the playlist in the background, it was like. Is that why? Yeah, yeah, it was wicked. You guys are fucking great. I love the fucking headband, by the way. <laughs> no, no, but genuinely, it looks fucking ace. You should keep it all the time. It's like Andre Agassi. Very encouraging. Stroke, it? Oh, he yeah. actually looks like an Andre Agassi stroke. Stroke. Yeah. 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 Have, have a good stroke. No, 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 honestly, fucking love it. Great. Who's cool for that? That was a good joke. <laughs> We we will get back to some music yeah, in a minute. Thanks, no mate. rush. Are you still recording? Yeah, get down. Oh, yeah, fuck it up. It's I'm, gone a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fourth member of Scam. Yeah. If you're the fourth member of Scam, you need to drink some of this because it's absolutely oh, delicious. Get some of that down. You need to come. Make drink sure you have a big it. swig of that. It's really that, nice. That's the best one. Ask me a question. Go on. Any scam related question, I'll answer it. Yes, I'm a Leicester. Yes, it's shithole. <laughs> yes, I can't spell it. Whatever. Just drink the drink. Fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> it asks it unicorns and come. It's Not bad things uh, together, but gillagism makes him what's awful. It's unicorn come. You should just try the tiny. So are you still got that right? Fuck. Can I just say scam are amazing? <laughs> and I can spell them. How about that swing now? Fuck. How was their set tonight? Mm. These guys. Fucking Jesus Christ on a bike. Do you know what? This actually taste of so unicorn come. Um, these guys smash it tonight. I'm saying this as a punter to watch the whole set. In a sweaty room in Reading. Now we've all been there. We know what that is and stuff, right? You guys stormed it. You know that. It was fucking ace. Well done, scam. So what we, I mean, what we want to know is new music coming out. What's on, what's on the front? Oh yeah, yeah, we're currently in the studio making album number four, which seems pretty ridiculous after all these years. Um, but yeah, we're kind of three quarters of the way through it. So uh, hopefully coming out in 2020. I don't really know what else what to say. We played a couple of new tracks tonight. Didn't well, we? we we know uh, we got. Uh, I don't know. You just got to choose your words carefully. It's going to be a difficult album in the sense that. God, God, God did really well for us, and we were obviously immensely proud of it. But then coming off the back of that, we're feeling a lot of pressure, you know, to, to try keep and to keep up to it. So, and as well, lots of people really bought into the concept of it, and they really bought. I've had messages from people saying, "Oh, you World War Two enthusiasts," which we are. Yeah. But we felt like we didn't want to flog that horse. Yeah, you've done that. Now. Yeah. It, yeah. We move on. So inevitably, I know there's going to be some people that are going to not think it's quite up to scratch with the, the previous album. But yeah, it's going to be good. Every band says this. We know the music on that album is some of the best we've ever done on this new album, and the production on it is incredible, isn't it? Can I just say, as a Scam fourth member, I don't think your album did a lot for you. You did a lot for the third album. It was an amazing album. And when you play it live, when we play it live, tell me what the number. <laughs> when we play it live, you give it heart and soul, and the audience see that. And that, when you say, oh yeah, well, the last that was a concept album was great, but I think they put in the concept album because you deliver it so well. We deliver it so well. Well, obviously you, yeah, I mean. I'm going to go now, because. Yeah, uh, to be honest, you. <laughs> <laughs> but that is the truth of it. Like you guys, you, it's a great album without a shadow of a doubt, we know that. But when you deliver it on stage, it's a better album. Get to, of, get to, to be fair, it would be nothing without you, I think, would it? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, Scam know. No, Scam, Scam on me for everything they've got, and we know that. Uh, <laughs> but Scam are an amazing band. The fourth album, I can't wait to, to but get do it. But do they know you were like cheating on them earlier today by working with another band on stage? Do you remember when I said those damn crows are the best band I know? Why? You know I was lying, and you know I was lying. Yeah. Scam and the mate. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Scam. <laughs> these guys, these guys were rocking. You know that. Scam, I love you all, and I wish I was a fourth member. And I want to be a bed in a band, just standing in the pretty or fat and bald or whatever I do. Because you guys rock it. But your last album, I love all your albums. I know last album. We smashed it. We're a live band. We're a live band. You're a live band. We're a live band. I know. And you can see the relationship. I think with the three, you can see it. 
Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I love we, that. We know that. Don't we? But no matter what you come up with, I hope the four thousand dollars shit. But <laughs> it won't be a scan. <laughs> but even if it is, you still manage to make it look okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, if it's good, then I'll work it. Anyway, I'm going to go some paste and I'm ruining the interview. Guys, you walk. Scam, I love you. Cheers. I, I, I fucking love Scam. The better on those damn quotes, don't tell Shane. What? <laughs> Yeah, so uh, there's no way to really follow that. <laughs> yeah, that's bad, man. Really. No, so the new album, though. You guys, if you're proud of it, that's half the battle. Because we're going back to we're doing we're doing a straight rock album in sense of it's, there's no concepts. We got we got uh, ten songs, collection of songs, our own thoughts. Um, the thing is, we don't we don't fuck around with it either, do we? Yeah. Like um, you know. We're, we're not one of those bands that will put out an album every kind of year and blast through. Yeah. You know, we prefer to take the time and like get through loads and loads of ideas and pick out what we think is best. So hopefully, well, like you say, you, you feel pressure to keep the level. Yeah, yeah. Well, we wouldn't we wouldn't put anything out that I don't think we're any of us. Well, you know, what couldn't be proud of, you know, put a blue and guts into it. So you're, you're, getting, you're gonna get a short amount of time, you know? So And like you say, once it's out, it's out there for all eternity. Yeah, yeah. On one platform or another. So in twenty years time someone will just pick up the stand and say it's a weird thing when you're in the band, because people say it's like your kids. And it is a bit because when we brought out the first album, I was so incredibly proud of it and it was like the best thing in my ears that I'd ever heard. <laughs> but then but then when you listen to them su successfully. Yeah, but it was the best it could be at that point. Yeah, yeah but you that's see more growth as a yeah. band yeah. and as musicians we, we, and as so, songwriters. So yeah. that's why I suppose every band like like hers, we, I, I think the stuff that we're doing at the minute sounds incredible. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Well, we're a good band. We can't win. <laughs> And, and, and totally modest with it, that's the bit I love, it's just fantastic. But I mean, so your fans and all these other people that have seen you today are going to be in for a treat then when this is early next year, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. We're, pretty, we're, we're getting there, aren't we? It's, it's over halfway done, so. What about touring for the rest of this year? You, is he still? Or? We've just got the old gig, haven't we, really? We've got Hard Lock Hell uh, in November, which is kind of nice to get back there. Christmas show, and then we've got some Christmas shows with King Creature. Okay. The band we kind of like. They played early. Yeah, time. played early. We kind of did a few gigs with those guys. Mutual Fe respect. Yeah, we kind of fell in love with them, we drink a lot of beer, the rock. So we've got the same similar kind of outlook, haven't we? So, yeah. <laughs> no, they're, they're a great today as well. I think every band that's played today has been really good. So. We, we haven't got much plan for now till Christmas. Because but if you're still in the studio doing we're trying to Trying to find the time to get, get those last few bits nailed down, you know? Well, well. We're Next year. Yeah, we're absolutely. Absolutely. Well, no, 20, year of the scam. We've got big plans. Uh, we're going to hopefully get one of the songs on a Boots advert. That'd be cool, yeah. yeah. Everyone we like. were talking about this earlier. <laughs> like. You know, super it'd be really good. <laughs> I would love to be on like a tampon. I would. I, I think that's the best. Yeah, for you, you look like a tampon at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <-o>. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you two always gang up on me? I hate it. I've got no friends in the band anymore. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Apart from the fourth member. Yeah. Well, I used to have Matt when Ray was in the band because I hated him. But then, but then, now he was true. I knew like the, like the Buzz and Bunnies. Yeah. Uh, look, studio stuff's going to pop. So, don't, don't, uh, put, don't put out the Matt hate it, Ray. That's bad. <laughs> he he nothing gets edited. He ain't going to watch it. It's all good. Nothing gets edited. Yeah, nobody watches my shit. It's fine. <laughs> but no, great performance. Um, so pleased you can come back again. I mean, it's great to see you guys down here. Not enough, but you know, when you come down, it's fantastic. And like I say, festival day's been great. And look forward to hearing all your new stuff. And Cheers, uh, buddy. everyone can check you out on social media, all the platforms. Absolutely, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, we're all there. And iTunes and all the rest of the places for iTunes, Spotify, Tesco's music. Or better still, Tesco's I see you've got, got the tunes to Tesco's <laughs> now. Or better still, go to one of your shows and buy the shit. Come to a, a show. Come to a gig, and yeah, watch three. Middle aged. I will give you the no quibble scam guarantee if you come to a game, middle aged. We'll, we'll win you over. Oh, absolutely. And with your fourth member, you've got. Well, <laughs> well yeah. it's just guaranteed. Guys, thanks for talking to us today and have a great day. Cheers, mate.